Salman, when we talked about making it easy for people to do business with you, buy from you, work with you, you brought this to the table and you said you have two stages that you think people need to go through when they're looking at prepping for a call. So talk to me about this list of questions. So James, let me take you down a trip of memory lane. Many, many years ago, the way I kicked off discovery calls with executives, you know what I did? I do. Uh, you did. Well, it, well let me let me. Share we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I had my first call deck ready. You know those first call decks that uh, enablement teams, onboarding teams share with you, saying you should be sharing this deck. Look yeah. at all our growth. Look at all our accolades and awards. Founded in 1792. <laughs> yeah, look at our lean logos. This is what our customers want to hear. Really. I started doing that. I lost my prospects in the first five minutes. Sure. Why are you talking all about you and your accolades and your company? Make it about the prospect. Make it about the customer. So I ditched that because it wasn't working. And I did exactly what you're showing here. I did my homework, right? Who is the individual you're speaking to? What is their role? Where are they based at? Where did they work out before? Did they recently get promoted? What other industries have they been in? Did they speak on any podcast recently? Have they said anything important? Have they engaged on LinkedIn content? Have they wrote content? Learn all these things. And what I do, and you mentioned you do this as well, I'll set aside 15 or 20 minutes before the call or maybe in the day before the call. And I'll put all this valuable context and information in a Google Doc. So I had that handy. And I'll, I'll share soon how I apply using that information to show them that I'm new, know them. And I'm not going to like just show off and start a call. Oh, I did all my homework. I know all about your company and look at me. No, it's about using that content with purpose, with intention to build, build that credibility up front quickly. I love this. Uh, I want to point out the fact that what we just gave you is a great way to be prepared for those two to three times a month, 42% of you that said two to three times a month, you get surprised by executives joining your calls. I think these moments of surprise are where we really see people shine. Yeah, Like this is where your craft has come into play because really when you're just going through the motions and things, it's when surprise happens is when we really can see the distinguishing differences between a true professional who has honed this, who yeah, might get a little like, whoop, what's going on right now? All right. Now this is my time where I'm going to get back control. We are uh, control the call, make sure everybody is in alignment. I am going to do these things. You can really see people shine in these moments. And I love that. Now, what he's pointing out is you should already know the Candaces in the play. We should already know those things. So, so that if we, if somebody, come, uh, George pops in, I don't know, George, I knew about Candace. I didn't know about George, you know, but because you've actually done enough research in advance, you're not going to be you're not going to be near as flustered. And these are the parts where it's truly, you become more confident as you kick up your competency. So this is your own mindset. You do that research ahead of time and you have a little bit more swag going into it. Like it's going to be hard to surprise me on this it one. Is. And confidence. when you do that, that confidence comes up and then it's not hard for when George pops in and you go, George, welcome man, I wasn't yeah. expecting you today. This is fantastic that we have you in the room. Yeah. It is confident. It is calm. And we are now, you know, we're moving forward. And so I love that just for the purposes, if nothing else of just solidifying, you know what you're doing and you are prepared for whatever happens.